Hi. There is always hope. The Emperor Caesar Augustus had ordered that the people be counted with a census throughout his empire. That meant that everyone had to travel to their hometown to complete their obligation to the command. So Joseph took Mary and traveled to Bethlehem in the region of Judea and the ancient home of King David. They were required to register there because they were both direct descendants of King David. By this point, Mary was extremely close to going into her labor. The trip was arduous and long. Finally, they arrived at Bethlehem, a small village, now overflowing its capacity because of the census. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary went into labor. This was a crisis because there was no available com accommodations anywhere in Bethlehem. Joseph, however, did not give up hope. He kept searching for God's plan. Fortunately, there was an innkeeper that had a place, a stable for animals. In all actuality, the stable was quite small, but it was dry and out of the night air. They were led out of the village to the small stable. This is where the King of Kings was born. They wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a hay trough. I cannot imagine Mary's relief to have a private, quiet, dry place to have her baby. Never quit hoping. That's what Mary did. Keep searching for God's plan, as Joseph did. Believe he wants you to find it, and you will. Enjoy today's story of God's plan and belief for hope to spring up in a seemingly impossible situation. God's peace and joy bless you. My name is Brandy. My husband and I are missionaries to the Philippines. I want to share a story with you about value and worth. One morning, God woke us up and he sent us to a hospital. We knew that he wanted to encounter someone special. So we went there searching, ward by ward. We prayed for a lot of different people, but we still felt that we didn't really find the one that God wanted us to find. So on our way out, we stopped by a gymnasium, which hold a lot of people who are too poor to go in for treatment to the hospital. We stepped in and instantly felt like this was the place that God had for us to be. That that person he wanted us to find would be here. And there he was, a man sitting up on his bed. And we knew that that was the person, God's treasure. We went over to him and found out that he had a stroke and couldn't speak, he couldn't move half of his body. And um, we introduced ourselves and asked if we could pray for him and he very happily accepted. So we prayed for him at first uh, and we had him test out what was going on. He couldn't move at first. After we prayed, he was able to move his hand in and out. And then we prayed again. And then he was able to move his arm, which was very, he was very happy about. We prayed again and, and again. And every time something new happened, the fourth or fifth time we prayed, he stood up. He almost ripped out his IV walking around his bed because he was so excited to be able to move. Um, the only thing that didn't shift was that he still could not speak. So my interpreter was with me and we asked him, would you please sing over him a song that God has put in your heart? So he sang. The man tried to, to sing, but it was absolutely horrible. It was horrendous. But as my, my friend kept singing and singing, the man's voice started shifting. It started getting more and more beautiful. And by the end of the third time through, he was able to sing so beautifully and he could speak. We were all in tears, crying about the goodness of God over this man. But if we wouldn't have gone that morning, he wouldn't have known that God loved him. You see, there was a team that came earlier, not too much before we walked in, who had come and they had come and prayed for other people and didn't pray for him. 
And he sat on his bed thinking, God forgot about me. God doesn't care about me. But he sent us to come. And he encountered the love of God in that moment. And he knew that God cared about him. And he was valuable. And he still is valuable. And no matter how the situation appears, no matter what's going on, we know that God cares and we always have hope with God.